Hey, I want to welcome everybody to the show. It's our very first episode. First and go with Mike and Marcus. Let's get it. I'm ready. I'm excited. You ready? I'm excited. I'm this, I've been kinda, thinking about this all It's kind of weird. It's kind of different, ain't it? It's a little different. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm with it. I like, like it. First off, we want to start the show with a little moment of silence for an all-time great, a Hall of Famer, a Chiefs legend, That's an NFL right. legend. So let's give a couple seconds for Lynn Dawson. R.I.P. Lenny. Rest in peace, Lenny. Oh, man, it's crazy. Let's talk Chiefs, man. That's what we're here for. We both That's love we the do. Chiefs. You love the Chiefs. I love, I love the Chiefs. I love them. Man, we get it. It's going to yep. be an exciting season. What I can't do you think? Wait. Hey, I'm looking forward to it, man. Uh, the more and more I uh, the more and more I think about it, man, the, the higher up the winds go in my mind. But I don't know. So what do you, what do you think we're going to go? What do you think our record's going to be? I'm saying, I mean, realistically... I would like to be 13 and 4, but I can see a slip up or two. 11 and, 13, 11 and 6, 11 and 12 six. and 5, yeah, more likely. I'm, think, I'm thinking we're going to have six losses. We'll have three the first first part of the seasons. I think we might have two or three the second part of the seasons. That's what. That's exactly so, what I think. So, fuck it, let's go 12 and 5. I'm 12 going 12 and 5. five. All right, 12 and 5. That's a solid number. We, I like we, it. We got. It's going to be a revenge like tour. It. We got to kick some ass this oh, year because, you know, we blew it against Cincinnati. <laughs> oh goodness uh, you know we still let, hurt we're gonna let the past be the past still but hurt it hurts bad <laughs> yeah so <clears throat> i think that uh you know i made it out to preseason this year first time ever i'm talking about extremely hot I yeah don't, oh man you gotta love the chiefs to go do that shit yeah i'm uh, telling you right now uh, i like watching the game from the house i almost died <laughs> yeah my birthday's October the 10th against the Raiders. My birthday's the 9th. I'm, I'm gonna try to make it out Are to the. Going? I'm gonna try to make it out to that Raiders game at you least got this tickets? season. We ain't got tickets yet. Yeah. If my wife's watching, I already gave you. You know, <laughs> hey, I want to go to the game. That's what's up. So, uh, what's your what's your biggest concerns going into the season? To be honest with you, I knew you was gonna ask me this question. So, but before I even was thinking about that it's the for me it's the it's the it's the running the ball i don't i just don't think that i just don't i don't know it just concerns me bro yeah it just concerns me with the because Patrick Mahomes can't pass it 50 times right and so for preseason it looks like he might pass that's it what i'm saying times. and i mean I, I think there was a stat out there saying uh chiefs have like 28 rushes the total preseason in two games was like 34 yards right or 38 yards right or something right like that. right that concerns me but at the same time First string ain't really playing. I mean, they just right. getting a series, so it's not like it's a full, full fledged press on. But I am worried about it. If I'm being honest with myself, I was worried about it last year too. Right, right. We but, definitely didn't know, run the ball as so, much as we should have. Yeah, like you run the ball, offense. opens up the passing game. Right. I just like it. And now, play action. Now with the new, new, the new uh, additions of the wide receivers that we have, I feel like running the balls more. Probably right. any, you know what well, I mean? Well, let's talk wide receivers. Who you think is going to have a standout year at wide receiving? Who's going to be you know, that guy? You know who I think is going to be, bro? And I know you're probably not going to agree with me. And I think Sky Moore is going to going to wreck Sky havoc, Moore. Bro. I do, man. I'm, I like I'm, I like everything I'm seeing out of him. They're using him in different ways. They're I mean, look at Watson. Him motion. Watson has had the best preseason and, so far, and that chemistry with Mahomes is I'm just like so on excited the money. about that one. I'm so excited about I that. I feel like we're so deep wide receivers. It's our offense passing game is going to be unlimited. Like unlimited. it's going to be crazy. Unlimited. I mean, there's a fight right now for that six wide receiver spot. I feel like I, I feel like the first five are sewed up with you got McCole, Juju, MVS, Sky Moore, and now Justin Watson. Right. That sixth one is going to be a guy that has to play special teams, obviously. He's right. going to have to contribute right. in other right. ways. Right. But I think there's a real fight right now between a couple of players. So. Yeah. Well, with Gore getting put on injury reserve, Good that, point. that lets us know who more the running backs yeah. are going to be. I think Ronald Jones kind of – feeling a little safer right now. Right, Because right. I, I think his roster spot was in question. But right, and they yeah. haven't gave him much of anything he in the season. He ain't got no run with the ones. He's only been in with the third string, really, in third, fourth quarter. So but that tells you everything you that, need to know. That kind of makes me wonder, though, is it because they already know what he can do, or is it because they're unsure if he's going to make it? Could be. I mean, but they're letting that rookie come in and take snaps with the ones, twos, and, I 
mean, yeah. he seems like he's a he's a solid, solid. You kind of got to see what the rookie has, though. Yeah. So you got to give him reps in to. order to see you what it is. And you have to give him reps at important times of the game right. with the ones that he's most likely going to be playing with. Right. So, yeah. what do you think? What kind of pressure you think's on the enemy this year after? After the offense struggled last year and it came out that he was calling like 70% of the calls yeah. all season, I said the enemy was making these calls. <laughs> and then you have to the, see this text message. at the end yeah. of the season, it came out that he put in his contract that he got to make like 70% of the calls last year. That's in his contract right now, the one he just signed. Every year, he added more and more play calling to his contract. Last year, it was at 70%. So this year... Is that got to be I, I, oh, after, I guess? after the meltdown against but Cincinnati? Really that, after the meltdown against Cincinnati twice, I'm not even sure if the enemy should have even been the offensive coordinator. Yeah. I mean, well, Reed always says the enemy calls all the good plays, but yeah, you know, whatever. Yeah, I'm he not. Uh, so he's, uh, he's got to have faith in him. He's definitely on the hot seat. I think. Um, I think this past year he was in some kind of a contract thing or whatever with the Chiefs. Or maybe it was two years ago, but I'm pretty sure it was this offseason that just passed. And uh, the Chiefs kind of seemed like they were not trying to hurry up and sign him, but no other teams was trying to sign him either. Right, right. So that's kind of raises the eyebrows a little bit as to what's really going on. Maybe there's a personal flaw well, there. Our offense know. struggled to start, we but did. We, we came together we and got pretty strong we towards did. the end. We did. We definitely got better from, well, I mean, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. We, right. we didn't look too good, but... As the season went on, we did look better on offense. Um, I I don't know about being to me though, man. It's I think he might be on the hot This seat. may be the last year for him. I mean, all the players seem to don't want to. They say they like him, but right. they also say that he's kind of a hot. So hit. Clyde Hilaire, contract season always hurt. In order to be on this team next year, I think he's got to have a, a huge season. He's got to have a twelve hundred yard season. Right, twelve hundred yard season, but no here's, injuries. Here's here's what I like about Hilaire, which uh, when he's healthy, what other running back can get you hundred yards off fourteen or fifteen carries a game? You're talking league wide, or you're talking right? Because you know a lot of the Jonathan number Taylor, one running backs get Taylor. twenty. They get twenty, Taylor's twenty-five 30. touches. Taylor's getting thirty in Indy. Yeah, so yeah, he's getting thirty touches. But what I'm saying is. How many people, how many running backs are getting 100 yards off a minimum, a maximum 15 touches? There's not many. There's not many. And Clyde does that. He has. He. I mean, whenever he's healthy and things are working, he's getting four and a half, five yards every time he runs the ball. Right. But I think it's a durability issue with him. I mean, he seems to miss a lot. Got to stay I mean, healthy. Got to stay he's healthy. He's a smaller guy. I mean, he's well put together for someone his size, but he's starting to create some injuries for himself and people, you know. It's a contract well, year. Exactly. So I mean, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get to work. If I'm him, I'm, I'm putting in the work right now. So overall, you think defenses? I mean, offense is gonna be overall. Do you think offense is gonna be better this year than it was last year? I think it will be better this year. I do. I think Patrick Mahomes is gonna have a MVP caliber season as usual that what we're used to. Um, I think it's gonna be more of a it's going to be more of a balanced passing attack. It's not going to just be Travis and Tyreek. Well, obviously not Tyreek, right. but it's going to be, you know, Travis is going to still going to get his. You better believe I just it. feel like we're but going to be able to spread that ball. Exactly. So, so you ain't going to really be able to double team nobody. You ain't then, really going to be able to do too much. So much size with the wide receivers, they should be able to block. I mean, a lot better blocking with the wide yes, receivers. Yes, and that's another thing with that six wide receiver spot. He's got to be able to block, bro. Right. Uh, I was paying attention to that during this last preseason game, and Justin, Justin Watson, he blocks pretty good for yeah. the wide receiver. I mean, he's out Probably there. Probably all that special teams. Yeah, I mean, he played at Tampa Bay, I think he did. So right. I, I, I think that was more his thing the last four years. All right, so we agree offense offense is going to be better. Now, yeah, absolutely. Hey, good luck, Tyreek. <laughs> yeah, hey. <laughs> all that trash talking. Just I'm talk. not going to forget your word. I'm not going to I'm not going I'm not going to forget. Anyways, let's move on. Defense. God, we got such a young core of hitters. And this is where I'm most excited. The linebacker cores. So I mean, Chanel quietly on I me. Mean, I know he's been playing with the third string. Yeah. But he's got the most tackles yeah. in the preseason. I mean, he's always around the ball. You see him right. in the game, man. Number 54 is always around the ball. He's right. always there. Right. And I that's, like him. I and like that's him. what you want to see, man, whenever you see a young player playing like that. Where's he at on the field? Is he doing his job? Man, he, do. he just seems to be around the ball every snap. Defensive line is going to be... 
Adam Dunlap, ain't that his name? Yeah, Dunlap. Dunlap. I already had an Achilles issue, so I hope he's not. I hope that ain't not nothing. Too, yeah, I hope it's right. not a day-to-day -day situation. So, Clark looks good. He's down. Fast. I've always, I've been criticizing Clark all last Me year. Me I mean, if you guys don't know, me and this guy text the whole entire game. We're texting I, back I and mean, forth. I mean, back and forth from beginning Every, to end. Sometimes it's play by play. Right. You know. His TV's quicker than mine, yeah. so sometimes he's yelling touchdown, yeah, and sometimes. I don't even know we got a touchdown. <laughs> yep. So. But uh, Thornhill, they, they, last year they kind of played him. He should have been starting the whole I year. I think he should have been starting last year ahead of Swanson. Finally, yeah. once he came in there, he started making an impact, started making plays. He's going to be the starter this year, and he's on a yeah. contract year. Yep. Expect a huge year from Thornhill. Let me ask you a question. Chiefs don't got Honey Badger no more. How do you feel about Justin Reed? So, through the media, it seems like he's going to be a good leader. He's intelligent, ain't he? He, he seems Bro. like he's going to be a good leader. He's really and, and here's one thing I like. Here's one huge difference that I like. That man's hitting. He's a hitter. You, he's by you. He's, he's hitting hitter. you. You're going to remember the play before Actually, after he hit there's you. There's a couple safeties like that on our team now. And Honey Badger, good leader. Last year he kind of he kind of got caught up, yeah, telling everybody where to go, and then he wasn't in his spot. Mm -hmm. So, right. I mean, that was you know right. that was always the picture. But you know, I just me the way I look at it, bro, is I didn't really think that our defense was all that good last year with Tyron Matthew. Right. So, right. It the was the fact that we lost him. We wasn't really that good the last two years. Yeah. The Super Bowl run. The last six weeks, including the playoffs, we started stepping it up, getting Absolutely. a crack, and getting which is going. great. But it didn't start off in the beginning of the season. It was right. actually I know we, we argued a lot because all the soft comments. You know what? This defense is soft. All this right, so the so this is our first one. To, you know, the podcast. I got blown up by so many people today, bro. <laughs> They just don't know. They are like, you guys are gonna do nothing but argue. You ain't gonna do nothing but debate. I said, yeah, we. They probably think will. we're gonna argue, so, but yeah, but they don't know right. our connection. You know, what I'm the saying? good it's part like, is, we're both Chiefs fans, die yeah, hard, die hard, die hard. We we die don't hard. agree on everything. No, we don't. And we agree on some stuff. So I, it's it's I gonna think we be agree on more than we disagree it's gonna on. It's gonna be good though, for sure. Disagreement's good though. Yeah, controversy it's sex. Hey, it's our hey. It's Mr. Debate. Everybody knows <laughs> Mr. That. Debate. <laughs> it's Mr. That's Debate. That's what they like to call yeah. me. But, you know, people started with me. That's yeah. that's what it's, they do. You guys got to know that I've known him since we were, like. Man, we grew up together. Yeah, I mean, so I, there's nothing no one can tell me. First, first time we ever met, he got mad because I wouldn't let him hold my sister's hand. <laughs> my sister's boyfriend. I wasn't going to say that. And we ended up best friends. Yeah, so so I love him to death. It's my brother right here. So, so ain't nothing y'all can say. Defense. What about the linebacker chorus? Hold on, we can't. That's my favorite part. Bro, I, I'm secretly the All most All linebackers excited. might be, to me, and I'm probably biased because I'm a Chiefs fan, we might have top three linebacker core in the league. I'm going with you on Gay, that. Gay, Bolton, Chanel. I was going to say top five, but top three. I'm definitely on board These with dudes that. is going to be all hey, over the I'm telling ball. you, that day I'm going Willie Gay, man, he's fast. He's physical. I like the way he talks. He said he wants to lead the NFL. And he's going to have interceptions. Yep. And then you got Bolton just coming in, running things. He's just. He's going to have picks, something that he, we ain't had in a long time since Derrick Johnson. And and it seems like when he hits somebody, they fall. They go, yeah, like, right. It's like violent, bro. And they going to be no missing tackles. Nah, you nope. Know, and then you, then you add in uh, number 54 there, Leo, and. Yeah, I just want him something. to have some controlled rage. I don't want him going out here yeah. and putting his body on the line every yeah. single but play. You know we got a uh, we do we're talking about the linebackers. You know we got a Kansas City kid on the linebacker group. Oh, I Elijah thought Lee. we got a cornerback that's who that's went to Blue Springs. I don't know his name. No, that's a cornerback. That's what I'm talking about. The linebacker. Oh, he's a linebacker. Elijah Lee. Yeah. So I thought he was a corn or he grew up in Blue Springs, or he went to Blue Springs or Blue Springs South. He kind of played. He's like a safety. He plays yeah, he in might the have nickel. Been. He, he might plays have like been. Florence and Yeah, play. or he might be like a Neiman. And said he, uh, said he, uh, I cut his his cousin, supposedly his cousin, and he said he led the Canadian League or the XFL in interceptions or something last year. Yeah, that's what Does he said. Does he play special teams? Probably. He's going to have to play special teams. With all the firepower they got in the linebacker room. So where's the defense going to be ranked? I'll tell you what. I believe our, I believe our offense is going to be ranked top five. So, I mean, just – Let's just get that out of the way right, right now. I think if our defense is being Holmes MVP, yep, he he could have. He's had definitely going to be. If he didn't get hurt, 
He's and go down three right games, now. he would have got back to back MVPs. I he's gonna be in the running for sure. Man, he's gonna be there. He's gonna be there at the end. He's so be defense, there. top ten. I'll say top fifteen. We'll we'll get a Super Bowl. We're going top ten. Hey, I'm, I'm love to be top 10. ten. Let's do it. I'm top going 10. top ten. I would love that. I don't want to see missed tackles though. That frustrates me. I can't stand it. So stand first it. first two preseason games. What what are you thinking of that? I ain't really. I mean, I watched every single I mean, snap of every single offense, preseason game. But that offense I, looks I, looks I mean, good. three drives look good. Three drives. The number ones got together, and I mean, they marched right down the field, and, right. and you didn't know where the ball was going. I think. I think Pat mixed it up. I, I don't know the exact numbers on that, but he has completions to pretty much everybody. He's 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 and it good. and it seems like like what you were saying about that Justin Watson guy. It seems like they might be on that wavelength, like him and Kelsey. It's like they got the way connection. That, yeah, you know, they got I mean, the connection. It does definitely seem like that. So, and I can't wait to see what they can do. I mean, you got Kelsey six five. You got Watson six four. You got uh, MVS 6'3". You got Juju. He's six foot. I mean, that's a different. You got four, my guy Fortson. Big guy. My guy Fortson. My guy Fortson. Big guys. He's six six. Fortson is your guy. Yeah, I've been. Hey, I've been talking about when Fortson he went down last years. year. You was heartbroken. I I was hurt because I got I got I see something in that dude and I think he's gonna be special. That's a big dude. Got hands. Can jump. Run routes. Good. Play special teams. Yeah, he's good. I think he almost blocked the punt. All right, who, which, which rookie's gonna have the biggest impact this year? I think, I think I want to, I think I want to go with the, uh, the guy, man, the Greek dude, Karlaftis. Karlaftis. Yeah, Karlaftis. I think I'm gonna go with him. Uh, His motor's running. He's got something there with that motor, man. That's not typical. In most right. NFL players, right. Right. I was excited when we got him. When I looked up his highlights after we drafted him, yeah, I was yeah. like, I seen Jared Allen all over, and I'm like. Oh, come on, let's go. And, it, I mean, they thought highly enough of him to draft him in the first round, and they could have had a couple other players maybe. But I, according to everything that I've been hearing in the offseason, he was their guy that they wanted. Right, so, right. I mean, he goes nonstop. I mean, he was getting double teamed on this last preseason game and still got the sack, fought through it, got the sack, and uh, his celebration was a little bit better than the first one from what I understand. But, All right. yeah, so I'm going, I'm going to, with Carl Loftus. What about you, man? But there's a but there's a couple other yeah, ones so I'm excited about too. I like Karloftis. I think I'm excited to see if he can bring pressure on that side. You know, because if he can bring pressure on that side, and then if Clark can get pressure on the other side, and then you got Jones up the middle. I mean, yeah, it's gonna be something you gotta deal with. <laughs> snap in, snap out. We're talking about Neil Smith, Derek Thomas level. Yeah. You hey, know what I mean? Here like, oh, I'm here for it, dog. Right, let's do let's, this. Let's go. <laughs> yes, yes, I will be hyped about that. All right, here we go. We got. I'm not gonna tell you whose stats or whose, but which quarterback you picking? Oh shit! So games played, 72, 21,000 yards. Man. This quarterback played 72 games, had 21,000 yards, 118 touchdowns, 85 interceptions, two Pro Bowls, zero wins. The next quarterback had 76 games. 17,000 yards, 102 touchdowns, 33 interceptions, three Pro Bowls, and one playoff win. One of them's Alex Smith, one of them's Trent Green. Who you picking? Who you like? <laughs> They're both similar to me. Who you like? If you got to pick one of these quarterbacks to lead the teams, who you picking? You picking Trent Green, you picking Alex Smith. I'm going with Alex Smith. And it's not for a reason what you think. What's the reason? You sure? Yeah. All right. Well, my homeboy Dorsey, he went to college at Wyoming, and he yeah. played against them. And he talked him up. He talked him up so much whenever I worked with him right. that I was just, yeah. So I'm going I was with a, him. I was an but Alex Smith fan. Was, I defended was, him all yes, the way to the day And I know that that's who you're going to pick. So. And, but he Alex was a Smith, good quarterback. Alex I did Smith. Not, I did not have any beef with him. He just, I didn't see, right. the, I just didn't see a Super Bowl with him. Right. We wasn't going to get a Super Bowl. And he's scared to take a chance. So I'm going to go with Trent Green. All right. I'm going to pick hey, Trent Green because Tony Trent Green wasn't scared to throw the ball down the field. No, he wasn't. He would he throw the ball down well, the field. He was in that offense, man, with uh, the – what was his name? Who's the coach? The one that – He had – Dick Vermeil? He had 16 more touchdowns in four less games and – No stuff. 4,000 more yards. So you got those numbers. 
Tell me what Patrick Mahomes' numbers is through four C. Yeah, I don't, I don't you even don't have, have that down, right? Somebody so let us know. I couldn't even. Somebody come out up there with let it. us know. So here's some preseason stats: Patrick Mahomes, eighteen for twenty six, sixty nine percent, two hundred twenty two yards, three TDs, one hundred thirty three point eight passing, one hundred passing rate, one hundred thirty three. That's really good. That's good. That's really good. We got Watson, Justin Watson, seven receptions, 98 yards, one TD. His long was 39 yards, nine targets. That's pretty good, nine targets. That is nice. Hey. That is nice. Cole hey. Laftis, two sacks. That's my boy right there. Chanel, ten tackles. He had seven tackles in the first game. I think they were all seven solo, too. Yeah. If I remember correctly. He's, a, he's a hitter, man. I'm excited to see that dude. And they said that he ain't really good in pass coverage, but... Uh, I seen a stat earlier today that that says otherwise. I am ready, but so we play Green Bay tomorrow, Thursday. Be be a good first quarter. I, I bet the starters probably don't play much. I don't think they'll play at all, Mike. Oh, well, at least maybe one you know, quarter. Like okay, I'll say this. I don't think I don't think Pat plays. I think maybe some of the linemen. Yeah, might he may play. not play at all. Really, I think I think maybe some of the linemen might play or like a. Uh, we didn't like talk a, like, about the line. I mean. Man, that line is There's only so much you can talk about on the first mode. episode. Right. Hey, I'm excited about that dude Creed Humphrey. I just like that name Creed. I think. Right, right. I think it's fitting. That's for that a champion dude. right there. Yeah, just he's just like, uh, he's just, yeah, he's that dude. All right. Well, sure. here we go. This is the first episode, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to keep it short. We're trying to stay around 30 minutes. Man, tune in next week, and we'll be back. First and go with Mike and Marcus. Let's go. Holler.